Good morning and thank you for joining us at Cincinnati Sun News. I'm Cassidy Foley. And I'm Ryan Viltz. In our first story, the King's firecrackers jump rope their way into the spotlight. We will now cut to Kylie Gay, who is currently standing with Lynn Kelly, coach of the King's Firecrackers. Thanks, Ryan and Cassidy. I'm here at South Albany Elementary School, where the firecrackers practiced all the way to earn themselves a movie deal. Fifteen years ago, former gym teacher Lynn Kelly was inspired after teaching a lesson on jump rope to her class. Kelly saw how much of a confidence booster jump roping was for the young girls in her class and decided to create an all-girls jump roping team. She sparked a tradition of self-appreciation for young girls at King's to become national powerhouses. This earned the King's Firecrackers a place in the spotlight, their very own Firecrackers movie. As the girls progressed through their show, you could see them sitting on the edge of their seats and then by the, by the middle of it, they were up cheering and high-fiving each other and the mascot, the big bear with the fish, was going nuts and by the very end, they were all out of their seats and uh, just screaming and roaring. Somebody from the Naval Academy evidently put it on YouTube and within about three weeks, it had 28 million hits. One of those hits, uh, went to a gal in Florida and she sent it to her cousin who is a Hollywood producer. He said he was moved to tears watching it. He smiled through the whole thing. He said he continued to watch it a dozen more times. He loved it. He just happened to say that he was a Hollywood producer. Tell me more about the story. So I told him how it started down here in South Lebanon with um, um, some little kids and you know that needed something to do at recess and how it blossomed into they got to go to Macy's and David Letterman and he said what a story he said I'd love to talk to you further and possibly write the script for a movie. My favorite part about firecrackers is that you get to work as a team and when you, you stick together whenever you have trouble. The people are great and seeing them every day it's sad that once I'm off the team I'm not going to be able to be with them every day because we're more of a family. The movie is set to be filmed this summer and will inspire many across the nation. Back to you, Ryan and Cassidy. Thank you, Kylie. In other headlines, King's Local Schools continues to leave its mark on the entertainment industry. Indie folk duo Edward and Jane, which includes King's graduate Emily Krutzinger, has recently made its way in the music industry with the release of its first EP. Here's Leah Ball with the story. Thanks, Ryan and Cassidy. For many, it can take years to make something of themselves, but for a lucky few, they get a head start right out of high school. Emily Krutzinger, a 2013 King's graduate, is already on her way to fame. Krutzinger is half of an indie folk duo called Edward and Jane, which is completed by Timothy Carpenter, a 2013 graduate of Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. They have been making music together since high school, and after graduating, both enrolled at Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee. There they have been working to share their passion for music with others. So we started in the other band, Emerson Project, and we all kind of decided to do our own thing and um, since me and Tim were dating we decided to start our own thing. Um, I learned mandolin and that was fun. Um, so we just started writing together. I think the songs that I'm most proud of are Grow and Wildflowers. Um, Grow is the title track to our EP so that's kind of like where we all started. Wildflowers is the first song that I actually wrote um, so I was really proud of that and it, it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to and so yeah. Currently we're planning on recording a new video um, that's really nice and releasing that but we're right now we're working on our recording a new album so we're writing more songs. I think the biggest challenge is just growing our fan base um, and getting people to hear our music. Edward and Jane have been together since April of 2014. Not even a year later, they already have an EP on iTunes called Grow, and they're working to record a full studio album. They were recently in a competition called Artist Signal, in which they took fourth place out of hundreds of contestants. We wish them all luck in the future. Back to you, Ryan and Cassidy. Thank you, Leah. We wish the King's Firecrackers and Edward and Jane the best of luck with their pursuits of fame. I'm Cassidy Foley. And I'm Ryan Diltz. Thank you for joining us on Cincinnati Sun, bringing you the news closest to home.